Bing bang. All right, it works, it works, it works. All right, three, two, one. Now, I forgot to turn on the light. Let me just quickly do that. Yes, here you go. Light is turned on. Welcome back, everybody, on the channel. Can you guys hear me? I hope you guys can hear me. Can you guys please... Please just yeah, you guys can hear me. Stop, stop trolling that I that you, that you can't hear me. I know you can't hear me. Stop lying. No lies today. Welcome back, everybody, to the channel. Let's uh, this is very annoying. Let's just quickly make it daytime. Jesus Christ, come on. Daytime, daytime, daytime. There we go. Make it nice. Actually, real time works as well. But yes, everybody, because we are back in the Caribbean, and that only means one thing. CRJ, everybody. We are back on board the CRJ, which we're going to be trying to fly again for the third time. Uh, yes, to have a, to give a little bit of a um, of a of a backstory. Um, so I tried to fly this. I think like three days ago, uh, or two. I think yeah, that was three days ago. I tried to fly it, and it didn't work because uh, the model was just broken. I had some severe issues with the throttle and stuff like that. I think it'll work now. I mean, we can just quickly try to use it now, see if this works. It doesn't, but that's probably because the plane isn't turned on. We can... Wait, let me just set this up here. But yeah, we had some issues with the throttle, and so I just ended the stream because I was it was very hopeless and very miserable, the stream. Anyway, I then tried to... Uh, oh god, why is the plane turned on now? That's weird. Well, that shouldn't happen. Well, stop being turned on. Let me just turn it off here again. That's a good thing about having this add on here. Wait a second, wait a second. How do you do this? Aircraft, here we go. Cold and dark. Just like... My heart. There we go. That, that took a while. Everybody, yes, uh, CRJ. So anyway, I had some issues with the throttle. I think it should be fixed right now. Hello, Captain Ninex. I'm doing very well. I'm very much looking forward to flying here. Uh, anyway, let's uh, open the cargo door. Very nice. Um, what was I going to do? I was going to do something. Oh, yeah. I had some issues with the throttle in the first stream. Everybody, I'm, I'm not very well concentrating right now. So, uh, But it works now. Here we go. Throttle is nicely being detected. You have to properly set it up for this add-on plane, which I didn't know. I wasn't aware of that uh, the first time I streamed with this this week. Uh, and so that didn't work. And then, then I tried again. And the throttle actually worked. And guess what happened? Guess what happened then when the throttle actually worked? Yes. After having taken off and actually had having done actually one good landing. Yes, everybody. We're looking for some butter landings today. Am I muted? No, no. I'm not muted. Stop trolling me. I, st I, I thought you were going to be serious this time. Stop. Guys, for the next stream, I'm... No, that's probably not a good idea. But I could, like, add, like, a block filter in so that everyone who donate uh, who, who says that I'm muted is, like, automatically being blocked. I can actually do that. But the problem is that one time I'm actually muted, then everyone's just going to get banned. So... Stop trolling now. I'm going to uh, continue my story. A second time. I tried again. Everything worked fine. Uh, but then my internet died. Completely annihilated. I couldn't... I'm, I'm now right now using my mobile data again. Because I have like this unlimited. <laughs> which is like the biggest form of luxury that I kind of give myself. Uh, yeah, I mean, I mean, come on. Unlimited internet. Uh, but yeah, you know, I, I, I'm now interconnected to it. And I couldn't save that stream anymore. So I just left it and went to bed. So everybody... Enough of messing around, enough of talking around, who's gonna care? Let's go ahead and turn on the CRJ-1000, the biggest CRJ ever. And again, I haven't actually properly done a proper full flight in a live stream with this plane yet because I wasn't able to, I tried it. Anyway, let's try it again. Stop saying you guys cannot hear you, uh, me. I don't have a black screen, I can literally see it on my iPad. And by the way, look who's back. Our, our, for our joystick cam. I know, I know we're using a CRJ, which has a, jo a yoke. But, you know, that doesn't matter. Anyway, uh, come on, can we? Here we go. That looks nice. Anyway, now it's time to turn on the plane. A very simple, uh, well, it's not even that simple. It's a, quite a regular plane to start up. The thing about this, uh, the whole Bombardier planes in general is that they all pretty much work the same, especially the overhead panels are mostly the same. Uh, like, the, for example, the Challenger 650 that I recently talked about in a video that also flies exactly the same. Now, stop saying I have a black screen. 
By the way, we should probably try also flying the CRJ200, the smallest version, once in a while. Um, because, I mean, that's added into the X-Plane flight simulator, which should be great fun. Anyway, why is the APU not starting up? Come on! Just turn on. Come on. Plane, seriously. Ah, there we go. Starting? Is it starting? Come on, just, just, I need the screen light here, which says available, so I can access the systems and stuff. Come on, auxiliary power unit. Why isn't it? Why is it dead? One more time. Start? Maybe? No? Just work! Turn on, you stupid f Can we hear it at least from the outside? We should normally be audible when you turn it on. Sponsored by Audible. Uh, I cannot see any exhaust or anything. God damn it! Just turn on. Why is it not working? Come on, give me some. Maybe, maybe the APU is broken, but that couldn't be. Uh, all right, ground air cart. No, let's get rid of that one. Maybe that's the reason it's not working. Welcome back to Sister One. This is a very professional stream. Yes, I can already tell we're starting well into the third try of flying this plane. If it's literally broken now by a bug or something like that, I'm gonna start crying. Come on. There we go, start. I think that hasn't worked, has it? Power fuel. Start. Come on, just... Please. Yes. 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 That is showing for a longer time. Maybe I'm just a noob. <laughs> that could also be the case. Come on. Start. Available. No, I'm like, yes. I've never been. I've never been this hyped about starting up a barrel plate. My goodness. All right, great. That's worked fine. Let's turn on the nav. There we go. IRS. This is the inertial reference system. I always, I always used to call this the inertial navigation system of the aeroplane, but that's not the, really the case. There we go. The aileron trim is very messed up, but that's great. All right, let's get all the lighting in here, all the flood in here. You know. Yes. There we go. Yaw damper. Great one. And we are actually, there we go. Plane is turning on. Or something like that. I don't know. Uh, here we go. And now, let's turn on the engines uh, for that one. Let's go ahead and get the door closed, everybody. Yes, finish the boarding. I don't know why I went for an Air France livery for this flight. I mean, it's kind of, kind of Caribbean related, right? All right. Here we go. Close the doors. Captain, the cabin is secure. All passengers are approved. The flight attendants don't sound very, um, France-ish. Fra French? French? france -ish? Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's turn on the pa- uh, turn- uh, have the packs turned on, that's very- uh, turned off, that's very important. Uh, but we have to have the APU bleed turned on, which I guess is- where's the APU bleed? I don't even know. It's probably automatically set. It's very weird how the CRJ works. I think that's actually, that's going to work right here. I mean, I'm going to try right here. I mean, we can try it. You know, actually, we can not genuinely try turning on the engines. So, good. Let's uh, go ahead and do that right here. Engine 1 start, engine 2 start. I think that'll work very nicely. Mm-hmm. That is working very nicely indeed. Let's get give it some actual um, fuel in here. How about that? Come on. Do it. Yes, here we go. Engines are actually nicely booting up, everybody. And look how quiet of, of a flight this is, by the way. I think I'm in the multiplayer. I'm not gonna mention it, though. Uh, oh, here we go. All right, we are actually online, that's fine. Good. Now. Gear disagree, that's fine. Good, we have turned on the aeroplane, everybody. I'm, uh, I'm a little bit proud of that, because you know that, you know, yeah, all right. Good. Now that's looking good. Let's go ahead and turn on the generators. It's good to see. And uh, let's turn on the APU. Let's turn on the windshield heat. Very important. I mean, not really here in the Caribbean. Mostly. Uh, we're not going to fly at a very high altitude. Anyway, let's turn on the anti-icing system. Yeah. And all we, all that's left to, oh my god, is the door still, why is the door still open? Apparently. Oh, the cargo doors. Oh, that's not good. Let's get them closed, everybody. 
Looking good. Um, so that's one still open, and that's that one is open as well, everybody. Good. Now, it is now time to get the chocks removed. That's very important for that one. Let's have the cabin, uh, I mean, the parking brake turned on. Here we go. And we are actually flying, or about to fly, in our CRJ 1000. Good. You know, actually, this is quite a promising beginning into the stream. Stop, stop hating, okay? Don't forget the cabinet light. This one right here, cabin light. Let's turn them all on. Yeah, it's very unnecessary. It's so unnecessary, but you know what? I like the realism of this add-on. It's fairly realistic. Let's turn on uh, the mock term. That's very important. Even though it says inop on it, but that's like the weird thing. Whenever we have to press it, and then it doesn't say inop anymore. Which is not really how planes work, but that's great. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe it is freaked like that in real life. Anyway, let's go ahead and turn on the emergency lights. Come on! Oh, I have to use the mouse wheel. Good. Uh, smoke. Yes, for the first time ever, actually using the seatbelt signs. How great is that? Uh, can we turn on the ELT? Ah. Oh, we can, but it won't play any sound. That's weird. The emergency locator transmitter. See, I'm, I'm, I'm right now studying a lot for my theory uh, exams for the um, private pilot license, and it's just a lot of studying indeed, and I, I uh, read a lot about the emergency locator transmitter today. It works via satellite. It sends signal to the satellite into the skies, which is great to see. Anyway, let's just take off. Why aren't you moving? It's not moving. Oh, there we go. All right, there we go. That yeah, works now. What I've, what I've pointed out in the previous streams about this aeroplane is definitely how well it taxis. I like that very much. Good. As everybody, we're just airing a little bit. Stop this plane now. See if the... Ah! Oh, whoa, I'm sorry. Let's see if the reverse thrust actually works, making sure to, f to test that as well, so that we have working reverse thrust. Yes, there we go. Um, that's really, that's going to be important because we are actually going to, well, fly past St. Bartholomew. So good. Let's go ahead now and uh, taxi onto the runway. Let's not care about the kind of Pegasus thing we're doing. I kind of lost patience to backtrack onto this runway. This is literally the most annoying, annoying way to design an airport. I mean, you've got plenty of space right here. Why would you, why would you design it like that and like have, have a backtrack? Why would you design a, a backtrack, like, featured? I hate that. <sighs> like, you have all the space. It's not It's not like you don't have space. Okay, maybe, maybe, okay, maybe it's about money as well. Building a taxiway to the runway is expensive, but my god, the backtracking could be annoying. All right, anyway, let's take off, by the way. Just want to mention that as well. Our flaps aren't out. Oh, that's, oh they're probably very high, high of a setting. Anyway, it's time to now to take off. Come on, full power. And we have a little bit of differential thrust, don't we? Ah, uh, okay, that's fine now. Good, now, taking off the RL plane. Good, we have a nice amount of wind, actually. Oh, oh, what's well, not nice is that, oh my god. Whoa. Why are we using this whole runway? That does worry me a little bit. And why is our ailerons broken? Uh-oh. Oh, wait, I, I know, I know. Oh my god, it's literally, it's, it's literally super bad. All right, How, what is wrong with it? Uh, help. Oh my god. Uh, our plane is broken. What? Help. Oh, that's really bad now. That is really broken now. Okay. Is it good now? It's not good. Is the aileron trim kind of... Uh, no, please have it... Please d trim. This plane is fine. Look, look, I'm letting go of the controls. Why is this broken? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, what's up with the trim? It would normally have a screen which would display th the trim setting. Why is it so broken? Here we go. Oh my god, I can see. Guys, this is the ha! This is the aileron trim! It's completely trimmed to the right, which is why the plane is doing literally this and literally killing itself. Uh, kind of like a... You know what, let's go. Uh, why isn't the aileron trim accepting? Ah, uh, there you go. It's, it's all right now. It's all right. Oh my god. All right. What a professional beginning into the stream. Anyway. Oh no, it's starting to break again. Oh god, I hate this. This is really bad. Okay. All right, let's try to fix this. Good. 
Can we please put it into the middle? Come on. Yes. Looking good. Come on. Yes. How's it going, Romer? Welcome back. Why isn't it reading it? Huh? Romer, why isn't it reading the message? Rylmer donated $2. Oh, there you go. That was I took was a while. about to express amazement it was working, but alas. What did I even expect from this plane at this point? Yeah, I mean, it works now. I think. I guess. I'm just hoping for the stream not to crash. Alright, it works now, apparently. Uh, I've got the trim set up properly here. Yeah, that was a bit of a problem here with the aileron trim, which was making it literally crash. Kind of reminds me again of the 737 MAX. Um, so yeah, everybody, welcome back to Trim with Swiss. Is there one? Let's go ahead now and uh, turn to the right and just land. That's now the point. Now. Uh, airport should be down. Let's go ahead and put the replay mode on so that we have a nice, well, replay of our flight, of our little landing that we're about to do. Our runway here is right here, and it's Grand Case Airport, everybody. The uh, other airport that is on uh, the St. Martin Island, which has Princess Joanna Airport on it. Welcome back to Spurs Air One. Let's go ahead and actually try to land this plane now here. Landing gears nicely coming down now. Air France up, up. I think that's how they would pronounce it because in French you don't pronounce the H, do you? So it's like up, which sounds super, that sounds, that sounds just, that sounds bad. I don't know. All right. Let's maybe get, <laughs> also try to get the <clears throat> joystick uh, to into the view of, of the camera because we know this is why we have the joystick view. Good. Now, coming in for a landing, let's go ahead and yeah, nicely do that. <laughs> I don't want to say. Great. By the way, we still have our... I have not aborted the landing. That's literally the most annoying part about this add-on plane. It's just that it always likes to, like, think that we've aborted the landing, which is not, never really the case. I mean, you're on the stream, so would never abort a landing. It's either either landing or... Uh, nothing really rhymes to landing, is it? All right, come on. Oh god, landing gear. I put the landing gear level down. Up. Touchdown! Pilot donated $2.26. Oh, yeah, pilot? This plane has a head in case you didn't know. It's great. Thank you. I was excited about receiving a donation for once, but then it didn't. Guys, clapping. Clapping in the background. Could you hear that? Could you hear that cra clapping? That was smooth. That was very late. Saying? What's up, Tate? Oh, Tate. Oh, thank you very much. How's it going, man? Tate Mabby donated $7. Please stall. No. No way I'm going to do that, Tate. Here you go, let's take, a, let's take a look at this landing. I think it was a, I was literally about to die in the stream anyway, so that was great. It was very late of a landing, but for sure a smooth one. I mean, yeah, you guys can say whatever you want. I mean, I'm just... I'm, I landed this uh, late on purpose. So just to prepare the plane for the very short runways it's going to be landing on very, very soon. I think that's been all right. Yeah. Maybe a little bit late because I was approaching a little... I was not even approaching that high or fast, was I? I mean, 130 knots. Why did the plane land this badly? I mean, that was barely even a flare. I try. I, I, I just kind of... Like, noticed after a while, okay, guys, we have to touch down. So I just put the plane kind of down, which, I mean, still, this was a very smooth, smooth landing. Stop, stop hitting around on, on, on my landings. I think that's been all right. It's been good, right? It's been all right. Good. Now. Good. We have now our heads up display. And let's go ahead now and uh, we'll take off again. That's literally all we're going to do now. So I'm just going to uh, do that and stuff. And then we're actually going to come in for Princess Diana Airport, which is going to be a little bit of a nice preparation, not really preparation for the St. Barthelemy that is going to be coming after it. Yes, everybody, this is St. Barthelemy. We're going to be landing on it on that 600 meter long runway on this island. Super interesting. But of course, first of all, Princess Juliana, so that we can, you know, kind of do a butter landing on a long, nice 747 used runway. I'm a little bit worried about this flight in general because 
I mean, look look at this takeout performance here. Oh my god, that was super close to just dying. We're not going to be able to take off out of St. Barthelemy. Maybe we're going to be able to land, but look at that. Have you guys seen that? That was literally so close. That was so close to overrunning. My goodness. But anyway, let's put out the landing gear and let's go ahead and, well, put the flaps up and get everything ready now. I mean, we, we're literally already on approach. You know, having an airline route between Grand Case Airport or in Princess Diana Airport probably wouldn't make too much sense. Good. We'll come back to the airline and let's go ahead and already slow down. I don't know if this landing is going to actually work. The thing about the CRJ is that its runway performance, considering the pretty small size of the CRJ, the, it's not good. <laughs> the runway performance. It still needs a long runway. Like, fairly, uh, fairly long. But anyway, let's go into the landing. Alright, put the landing gear down. Everything's ready. Got the flaps out. Good. Why is my camera... I, 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 I had to reset up my camera today. So this is why my camera is in a very weird setting. Come on. There we go. There we go. Looks much nicer. What also does look nice is... It doesn't even look different. Oh, it does look a little bit different. Anyway, let's come in for a landing here. We've got Princess Juliana Airport down here indeed, and actually we're coming in quite good. I mean, this is actually looking like quite a good flight. We had a bit of a rough start trying to start up the APU, like in overall, but this is this is looking good. Let's get everything closed right here, and well, um, oh no, but the no heads up display. Come on, there we go. Good. It's just that the heads-up display doesn't really help at all. I'm still looking... Like, I'm, I've never been a big fan of these heads-up displays, honestly. What's up, Hannah? Thank you so much for becoming a 737 member, dude. Thank you very much. Super appreciated, dude. All right, anyway, let's start coming for landing. All right, this is going to be a long one. There's a car on the runway! We just crashed into it, but that's another story. Alright, you know what? The thing is, what I find interesting is that literally the landing at Grand Case Airport was more... was smoother, wasn't it? That last landing we did. That was smoother than, than this one. Which is weird. <laughs> Look at that. It's not been... It's, it's not been hard, this landing, for sure, but I... I, I, I kind of aimed for something a little bit smoother. What's that sound, dude? What's that, what's that plane that sounds like this? What kind of trouble prop sounds like that? Right, anyway, I think that's been alright. Yeah. Not super smooth, but quite butter. Right? Kind of like... Maybe maybe butter that's been quick, like... Yeah, maybe butter that's been, uh, that's been just taken out of the fridge. That's how I would say it. That's been alright. Good. Now... Maybe you know what? We can actually try to start here on this island. There we go. Get the flaps ready. Let's take off again. Which is probably not going to be a good idea because, again, the takeoff distance of this plane is quite disappointing. All right, come on. Full power now. Let's go. Oh, my God. 120 knots. Let's not overrun into the Maho Beach. At least it's not here in the flight simulator animated. All right. Good. This is definitely not ever going to work here at St. Bartholomew. I'm a little bit disappointed. But you know what? I had I didn't really have much expectations or high expectations for the stopping performance of this plane anyway because of the crappy regional jet. And so, despite of its pretty low size, uh, pretty low size and weight, it still doesn't need. It does need a runway. All right, it does need a runway. I mean, which like, uh, how how how. How dare the CRJ. All right, anyway, let's come in for a landing. Good. We've got St. Bartholomew Airport, and of course, since we are pro-pilot chat pilots, I would say, uh, we're going to, of course, use the difficult side. Hello, Rymer, or Rymer. Rymer donated $2. Speedboat Simulator 2020. You know what? I think the the CRJ, indeed, is, would make for a better boat than it does for a passenger aeroplane, but this is great. Let's come in for a landing. I have not aborted the landing. Could you... Shut up. 
All right, we're a little bit fast. Let's get the spoilers out already. This is gonna be a little bit of a spicy landing. It's like, I, I saw a meme recently that it was like, you don't call it trauma, you call it a spicy memory. So everybody, let's go ahead and... What's up, Trispree? You know, yeah, I'm gonna update the end card. Haven't I ever, have I not refreshed it for like three months? Oh God. See, I, I'm, <clears throat> I'll do that. Sorry. <laughs> Well, thank you for staying in to have Anton or 25, though. I'll do it, of course. Now, all right, let's come in for a landing. But I've got you on Instagram, don't you? Okay. Oh my God, that's been very spicy indeed. We can literally hear the screaming of those dying passengers. But everybody, what has been is landing, stays a landing, and we've landed and we've stopped in three, two, one. Now. Stop complaining. I mean, you cannot have everything in life. Come on, that's Ollie been good. Donated five Hello, Ollie. <laughs> good. That's been all right. You know what? That's been fine. It's been be uh, see, uh... Good. How did this go? Check this out. All right, you know, if I wasn't a 737 uh, with a Reiner livery on it, it wouldn't even, like, it wouldn't notice it even. It wouldn't notice it. It wouldn't notice it. That's uh, been probably one of the hardest landings I've ever done in my life. We want, <laughs> I want to see this here. All right, so we had a vertical speed of 2,400. Literally a touchdown rate of 2,700, which would have been in real life a crash. But there we go. Stop is stop. And that's fine. That's all we need. Even though, you know what, maybe maybe the plane could have survived in real life, maybe not with that kind of, uh, uh, with that kind of bouncing that was going on. But I think this been, would have been all right. Let's talk a little bit about taking off though. Let's do it this way. I mean, you know, sometimes you just gotta, gotta make use of what you have. So everybody, welcome to St. Bartholomew. Let's take off, all right? Full power, let's have, oh, this is not a smart idea. All right, let's try to put the flaps out. Uh, up, I mean. There you go, flaps up. And then put them all down while we're rolling. This is going to be very spicy indeed. This is not going to work, is it? I mean, I can try to trim this. All right, fine. Trim this well. Okay. Now, take off. And put the flaps to... Why isn't it... Oh, God, we're not taking... Good. Uh, good. Now, take off. Good. Flaps are set. Let's go. Daddy O O one donated three dollars. X X X X X X X. Good. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Good. That has been. Haha. <laughs> we've taken off. We've we've taken off. It's not crashing to the mountain. Oh God. Yes, everybody, we've taken off a CRJ. CRJ 1000. That's been good. That's been good. I know I was lagging there for a second. Step, 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 step. But that's fine. Uh, anyway, let's uh, now. Um, where, uh, I mean, we've got some other places. We've got Montserrat. No, that's not Montserrat. I think Montserrat is somewhere down here. By the way, why is literally the flight simulator broken? Like, all our magenta lines are gone. Like, connecting the waypoints to each other, that's right? Like Okay, looking good. Now, we could fly to Saba Airport, but there's literally no way we could land there. It wouldn't even make sense to fly there. But there we go, that's gone well. Ah, good, now. TNCE, that's coming for that one. And, uh, let's land. There. Or something like that. This is probably going to be very miserable. Good. Now, I think... I don't even know what this airport is called. I think it's Roosevelt. I think it's VT Roosevelt that this airport is called. Um, and so, maybe let's try to land there. Don't know. Maybe this is going to be interesting. 
So, let's do this. Ah, yeah. All right, we're coming a little, a little bit high. Or not really high, but it's more about the speed that I'm worried about. We're at a 200 knots. But you know what? This is quite an extreme plane. Put the landing gear down, please. Great, please. That's not possible. Come on. Yes. Get slow right here. Good. Now, put the landing gear down. Let's get the plane landed here. This is going to go very well. The island is called St. Oystasnios. I, ca I can't read that. Can't pronounce that for sure. Good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a runway, you know. It's probably going to work. Good. Now, come on. Yes, that's been fine. Good. Clapping in the background? Always a good sign. I think that's been actually, you know what, quite a nice landing. And of course, I recorded it in the, re in the replay mode. everybody you know what i think that's it for the stream uh there's not really much i mean this has been a nice flight we've done some good landings actually the majority of landings have been good here this has been absolutely smooth and i think this could be a very very nice well um end to the stream so thank you guys so much for watching um and i'll see you guys tomorrow probably maybe in another stream i'll see uh as always good night this has been great fun um great of a hopping oh Oh, never mind. Just the replay mode. <laughs> I thought I, th <laughs> I thought I thought the fight meter was broken again. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. This has been great. You know what? I do. I kind of have the urge to pl crash this plane now, now because this plane. I mean, this fight has been super successful or way too successful. Better. All right. Thank you guys for watching. It's now really a crappy regional jet. I'll see you guys tomorrow.